So I just want to start today by clarifying something that was brought up last time. And it had to do with, I sort of abused the notation in that here in the energy equation we have the material time derivative. But when I plugged in this um, Himmel's free energy function in for the internal energy and then, you know, commuted the um, material time derivative and that's fine, it commutes. I also replaced it with a dot, that's, nota that's just notation, it's not a big deal. Um, but when I, you know, I, I used this and I commuted it so it produced these two terms and then I said that T is steady state so this goes to zero and that, that would be true, right? The, the, you know, the, the material time derivative has, you know, partial T, partial little t. That's why I switched notation there. Uh, but it also has that convective term. And somebody asked the question, well, how can you do that? You know, how can you just replace the material time derivative with... So I just want to start with clarifying that just for a second. And, you know, so our material time derivative would be something like this. And th in this case, I'll just use U, but it holds... What I'm going to say holds for any of these thermodynamic quantities. You know, it would be like partial U, partial T, plus V, grad U, right? Where U is an internal energy, it's not displacement, right? Okay, so if you remember when I started this kind of thermodynamic discussion, we defined the internal energy is a function of the entropy, some internal state variables, and X, but I went through sort of a long discussion about that this X is only in the sense that the material could be heterogeneous, so it could have a different internal energy at different places, okay? But thermodynamic quantities do not have any spatial history. So, so this is not like this, this term right here, grad U, is actually zero for any thermodynamic quantity because it doesn't have a, a spatial memory. In other words, if you give me the entropy and the internal state variables, no matter where the internal energy was, I can tell you what the internal energy is right now. Okay, so this is clearly different than like something like strain, which has, a, I mean, it's, its whole definition is, de is based on a spatial dependence, right? A spatial gradient of displacement, okay? So, so that's why that for a thermodynamic quantity, the material time derivative and just the regular time derivative are one and the same and they're interchangeable, okay? So that, that's sort of the clarification of where that came from. Um, 